I know. Where have I been? It's coming like fiber. When they're open now, we see heaven. You'll be glad to pass my ear check. Loving you, loving you like we're check. We life coming like Bible. A parable of some greatness. From your heart till now, that's the events. Never, never feel that it hits this. Welcome back to my channel. It is Chalice here. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm so sorry that I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back with the jump off. Okay. Um, and this video is a vlog. As you can see in the title, we are going to be doing pre-birthday things. I have a mini she in haul that I'm going to be doing for you. And then you're going to just be seeing me throughout my week right before I head off for my birthday trip. So me getting my nails done, my lashes done. Um... I gotta get my feet done. I signed up for a spin studio called Spike Spin here in bed in Brooklyn, New York. So I go like three, four times a week. I hope that you enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, and wish me happy birthday because by the time you see this, my birthday will have already passed. All right, so we bake. We bike. <laughs> it is 12.52, I'm leaving work. So I'm about to go to Jersey now to go get my lashes in, honey. She whining, she whining, she rolling back. Baby, I love how you're working that. Don't ease up, girl, don't you hold it back. No holding back. Oh, oh, girl. Where you whine and your dips so How you move to this soul like a lips. So, let me turn these down. I just got my lashes done. It's giving. Mm. Morning. It is Monday, April 4th at 6.55 in the morning. I'm going to make this quick because I got to go take class. Um, today I'm taking a bar class at 7 at the studio I work at and then I'm teaching a yoga class right at 8 right after after I do that then I am in need of coffee I gotta go to Target and run some errands I need to take a spin class and then a nap okay napping nap my spin classes I have actually been losing a, a lot of like my weight has been transitioning I'm not gonna say I'm losing weight but it's turning into muscle it's transitioning so that's good so I'm gonna do that and then after that, I am going to take a nap, rearrange some things in my apartment. I need to start to pack for my trip. But long story short, I'm bringing y'all along with me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. See you. If I close my eyes, I'll probably end up dreaming about you But then again, if I stay up I might call you on the phone And say that I want you, I need you Or some other lie to boost your ego up So you come here running with your head April 5th and I am currently on my way to teach my 7 a.m. class it's 6 30 in the morning I have a 7 a.m. yoga class and then after yoga I have a nice little gap from 8 until 10 so I'm gonna get this video edited then I'm teaching at 10 a.m. at a different yoga studio after that I'm taking a workout class with my friend V it's like a hit workout I'm trying to get it right get it right get it tight although Hey y'all, so I just finished taking that workout class with V. Very good. I asked for it to be a glute uh, based class and Miss Mama's day would need to be done. I love that for me. When you know the teacher and then you could just be like, can we do this? And then they'd be like, okay. Yeah. 
Um, my yoga class today was so good. It was so juicy. It was so like, dang, dang, dang. I had a lot of new students today. And I think one of the most rewarding things about teaching is like after class, when they come up to me and they're just like, you know, I was worried about coming back into yoga. I was worried about this being my first time. And you just made everything feel so like safe and like obtainable like yeah you, know, you know i just that just warms my heart because that's just part of the reason why i do it you know i suffer from a lot of anxiety so if i can make someone feel safe you know in their bodies and in in the room like that's that's that shit is meaningful to me um so yeah so now i'm about to go do some laundry right out of the bank out of the bank i might run to target i don't need nothing from target back home ago so i might go to, oh i do need something from target <laughs> I'm gonna go to Target. God damn it! I'm gonna go to Target, get something I don't need. I was just in Target yesterday and I forgot. Um, I did go to Target. I'm kind of annoyed because honestly, truly, I didn't need anything from Target. That's a lie. I had to get these. I'm putting. So I think I told you I'm putting like I'm making gift bags to give everybody at my party. My party <laughs> on my birthday trip. So I also bought these. I hate when people park right next to me when I'm recording. What do you want? My car's not even on. What? Sorry, it's okay. Thank you. He gonna interrupt my video to ask me if I want to repair the damages on my car. No, they've been like this for years. They're not getting replaced. <laughs> anyway, I was saying that I bought um, these liquid IVs. I'm putting them inside everybody's pouch because I feel like they're gonna need them to recover from such a fun time. Target and Gateway, if you live in Brooklyn, they have an ulcer in that one now. Not all of them do, but this one does. I just found that out a couple of weeks ago and um, they sell philosophy products. I, am, I have such a hard time. I got the fresh cream. I'm obsessed with the fresh cream scent. I use the um, Olivia, shout out to Olivia, she's you one. The fresh cream scent, um, it has, I, I'm so obsessed with the shower gel and the lotion. Um, and so I decided that I want to try the perfume as well. So I just got their perfume. So we're going to try this to add to the layer. Cause I usually use Glossier's, um, perfume. That's like my go-to perfume. I usually use some frankincense and more roll on. Then I like top it with Glossier, but you know, sometime I want to have like, you know, just stay consistent and like Glossier smells good, but sometimes I just want to stay smelling like fresh cream all day. All right, let's get into this sheet and haul. So up first, we have this brown bodysuit that I purchased. This one-piece bodysuit. When I was in New Orleans, I was like, I don't want any pockets. I don't want any just one pieces all day, every day. So that's what this is. It fit like a glove. The only thing I didn't love about it was it is off the shoulder, which I thought was cute. However, I got very drunk in New Orleans. So because I didn't have any tape on or anything underneath it, I had to constantly pull it up. Like, as you can see, just, just constantly pulling up. I didn't really love that. So I would recommend putting tape on, I guess, underneath it. I didn't have anything under, so maybe that also was why. I don't know. But I love the way it fit. I got a lot of compliments on it. And yeah, I would definitely, maybe not buy off the shoulder, but more bodysuits from Shein. Also, I would like to lead with the fact that I am five, six and some change. And my weight fluctuates, but I usually stay between 155 and 165 it just goes back and forth child it depends on the day all right up next we have this swimsuit <laughs> i'm really silly y'all apologies in advance but yeah so this is a swimsuit i got it in brown it is a medium the top was a little small but like it fit i don't know it's weird the bottoms were fine um the tops i don't know if it's just how i was tying it, tying it because when i was in new orleans i feel like i constantly had to like pull it down I don't know, I don't know, but I feel like the large would be too big because, like, I'm not a part of the big titty crew, so I just don't know what was going on. But this is what it is. I thought it was cute. I liked the way the brown was on my skin complexion. I'm really obsessed with, like, browns and grays and just nude colors right now, so that was cute. My butt looked good, so that's always a plus. <laughs> and, yeah, I just really enjoyed this swimsuit and the way it fits. I like Shein swimsuits. This is not the first time I bought a Shein swimsuit before. I am going to do a Shein swimsuit haul, so I'll keep you posted for that. But yeah, this is what it looks like. All right, so up next is my birthday outfit. Okay, let's get into it right away. So I saw this and I was like, I got to have it. Like, I love a cheetah, leopard, whatever I want it. 
And so the thing is, when I initially purchased this, I got it in two sizes. I got it in a medium and a large because sometimes a medium fits me well at the top. But at the bottom, honey, these thighs, we like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it like, my thighs sometimes gas me up and think that I'm thicker than what I am. And it's just not the way it is, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so I got the two sizes that when I first purchased it, the medium bottoms were like, girl, you tried it. You're not wearing them. But then because, you know, I said I've been taking my spin classes three to four times a week. I was able to get into the medium. So this is just the medium. This is the medium top, the medium bottom. And I loved it. I got so many compliments. I had too many hands touching me on uh, Bourbon Street, which I don't know how I really felt about it because y'all know I don't like being touched. But honey, touch, 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 touch tap, tap, tap in. I felt so good. I felt sexy in this outfit. And I had a good time. All right, so up next we have actually the outfit that I wore for brunch on my birthday. It's this two-piece yellow set that I got from Shein once again. I thought it was super cute. Like, I was just like, if you're gonna do it, then do it. Uh, there was no belt loops or anything for this, and I don't know if y'all have seen my other videos. I usually have an issue with my waist when it comes to um, anything that doesn't have belt loops. <laughs> I didn't have that issue with this. It was actually perfect, so wow and i'm a medium once again uh nothing was too tight nothing felt crazy it obviously needed to be ironed but we did that on the said day and it was cute i liked it and bottom line is can i shake my butt can i move my waist yes so we kept it and we wore it okay <laughs> All right, next we have this dress. Super sexy, super cute. Now, I did not wear this dress. I'm not going to probably wear this dress. I did not realize that the split came up so high in this dress. And so, I just kind of feel like this is a dress that I would wear if I was going on vacation with someone that was uh, very intimate with me. <laughs> because... I need them to either be pulling it down or be wearing it for them because I'm not wearing this to dinner or just out for myself. I don't know. So maybe on a date this summer, if I go on a date on a date on vacation, maybe we all bust down in it. But we didn't wear this on the 30th because look how look at that. Look at that. I couldn't wear oh, oh. I couldn't wear that. No, but it's cute. It's giving a yay. Yeah. Okay, I'm done playing with y'all. And then next up, I have some pajamas. I don't know why I didn't put the other one on here, but I have leopard ones like this as well. They're both in larges. I wore the, them for a pajama jam that I went to. Shout out to Shay. See, I went to her pajama jam R&B kickback party, and I ordered some pajamas from Shein, and I love them. They're soft. They're this. The pink one was loose. The Leopard one, I'll try to add a photo in, but it was more fitted in terms of the bottom and it was a little high water, so I don't know, just a different cut, I guess. But super cute. I actually realized that I enjoy buying pajamas from Shein, so I'm probably gonna keep doing that, and yeah. Can we just get into these nails? By Tasha. Ooh! Mm. 